Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Sometimes we want a garden in our home, but maybe you don't have the space, or you don't have something that is going to be suitable for a garden, or you don't want to put extra effort into it. Well, I have a little hack for you today using an umbrella, and the first thing we need to do is open it. Let's get started. The inspiration behind this is this Wayfair metal planter and it normally costs $94. Now I'm going to do it with a real umbrella because metal umbrellas are not the greatest thing to plant in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is place the umbrella upside down like so. Next, I'm gonna use a punch, and this is a sharp end here, and you use a hammer, and this helps you set up things for drilling, but I've used this for so many things. You can also use a screwdriver or whatever you want. Now, depending upon what you're planting, you'll need to poke holes into your umbrella, and you can make them big or small, lots of holes, less holes, but you need drainage to happen ultimately. Now, for what I'm planting in here, these plants will not lead a ton of drainage. They're actually meant for a drier climate. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put these holes in here and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Now I'm getting set to garden. So I'm using my gardening gloves and I like rubber bottom gloves. Um, it helps from being pokey. And then what I've got here is some really great soil. So you wanna have some really good quality soil for this next step. And again, I'm just gonna kind of spread this dirt all over and you can use as much or as little dirt that you want. And then you're just gonna kind of spread it out inside your umbrella. Now, as you can see here, I even have a nice little earthworm. That's a sign of some good quality soil. And I will be rescuing him here momentarily and allowing him to go back into the earth. But that is a good sign of some good quality soil. So I'm gonna spread this out and then we are gonna to get to planting. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is underneath this dirt. So depending upon what you're planting, you might need more drainage. So poke your holes and you might need to put some nice tiny gravel or tiny rock underneath to add extra root drainage. What I'm planting in here today will not need extra root drainage, but it is a good idea to add some stones underneath the dirt just to lift and elevate the dirt and give it extra drainage. All right, let's get to planting. So I've got my plants and I'm gonna dig, you know, a little hole. I can easily use my hands for this project. And then I'm gonna place my plant into the hole and press around the roots at the bottom. And I'm gonna continue doing this with the different plants that I have. Now in Colorado where I'm at, it is actually not planting season. So I am doing this with some faux plants just to give you the idea of how to do this. If I planted this now, they would just, it's going to snow in like two days. We have very, our weather here is just crazy. It tends to be cold and then snow. And then the next day it's hot and nice. So you never know exactly what you're gonna get. So again, you would plant all of your plants all the way around. So I'll finish getting these into place and we'll talk about what's next. Okay, now that these are all in place, I could add some rocks to the top to make it a nice little gravel garden for my succulent plants. Um, and then next you would go in and water them lightly. Now it is normal for your plants to get a little bit of transplant shock and what's important is A, your good soil, putting them in a good location and caring from them. So if you see some of the leaves or ends turn a different color or start to fade a little, don't stress, they, they did get a little transplant shock and they will come back if you give them the proper care. So that's how simple this project is. Now, if you can see here, I put a little solar light here. So by day, it's got a nice little garden and even in the evening, you'll be able to see it with my solar light. So you can always add something like that to get longer time with your garden. And I hope this inspires you to make an umbrella garden of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chesscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. 
And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.